everyone welcome back to five day crypto have we got a treat for you today i'm just kidding it's a regular video <laughs> we're looking to look at bitcoin <laughs> on the daily chart for the hash ribbons we got our hash ribbons buy signal right uh last week we made a update on sunday evening we didn't get them oh no we'll wait another week now they're on all the charts they're flashing back and forth that's how close we were to getting it or not getting it but we've got it so it's now thursday We've got the buy signal. Let's look at the last time it printed and see what it did on the daily chart right now. So Bitcoin on the daily. This is where we printed December 2nd, 2020. This is where we did. Over the next nine days, we proceeded to just kind of fizzle out and go down, right? Roughly about 10%. Then super sprint explosion marathon Usain Bolt up. Okay. So now let's fast forward to today and see what we did now. Now what we're looking at, right? So we didn't get it here. Let's fast forward. Look at what we've got now. Okay. We just printed on the daily time frame, August 7th. Okay. So over the next nine days, that would be, let's look. Nine days would be August 16th. Maths. So it doesn't mean we're going to do that identically. Okay. We're, lots are probably not, but just roughly heads up it could last 10 days 20 days odds are the next couple weeks after you have your signal you're due for a move up a substantial move up as we saw back there so as we move down that rough level that it pulled back to it'd be right at this level this caution yellow line here which is coincidentally about 40,500 600 which is coincidentally our previous local high back here that would be fine, a okay par for the course. It would be just like the last buy signal, which after that, you saw what we did. We were just a part of it, right? We went from very low 10, 20K to 64, 65K, right? So now are we going to do that again? It remains to be seen, but these are the levels that I'm going to be watching, at least on the daily chart, uh, to hope for a bounce. We want to get a bounce. So the first level would be our other previous local high, which is about 42.2, okay, 42.250 if we're getting Pacific, okay, we want to get a bounce, this would be ideal, this would be the ideal scenario for me, if we come down here over the hand, next handful of days and get a bounce off of here, that would be fantastic news, on the other hand, we don't, in my opinion, we don't want to see a break through that if we do, it's not all over, but if we hit this and bounce, okay, we're still good. Still good. That's a good scenario. Let's get to the scenarios that start worrying us. Let's say we break through here and roughly just go back down here, right? And then say we get a bounce here. Well, why would that be concerning? Well, do you see the pattern that could potentially play out here? This is called bad news bears, aka head and shoulders pattern. See this? If that played out, that would be real bad, right? We'd get a bounce here, which everyone would be okay with. But even at this 38K level, this is our kind of real warning last level. This is why it's red, right? Green, good. Yellow, cautious, still good. Still good to go. You can floor it through the red light. You'll still be okay. We can floor it back the other way and we'll still be okay. If we break the green and the yellow lights and we come to a red light, this is our warning, right? You got to check left and right, make sure there's no people or cops around before you floor it. And then we could floor it back to the upside, right? It doesn't mean we have to, we'll definitely play this out. We could hit this level and then work our way back up. That'd be fine. But if we do this, something like this, and then get rejected again off of this 42K level, just like we did back here, and we proceed to do this, we better hold right here or we're in some serious trouble and we're likely going back to test this previous low around that 30k level and then if we don't hold this this 38 30k 28k level right in here then we got a whole new scenario we're probably entering a prolonged bear market for the next three six months minimum so these are the scenarios you need to be watching out for hopefully be a little bit ahead of the competition Competition, if you're from Italy with an American accent. 
Uh, so that's what I want you to watch for on the daily chart. Weekly chart's a whole nother animal, but we can get into that. So 42, 40, 38, those are your levels. If we bounce above 40, anywhere above 40, and we start making new highs, and we take back out this, uh, you know, if we see us at 47K above that, no matter where we turn around, that's a great sign because we're taking out the previous high. We're making high after high, higher high, right? Higher lows. As long as we don't lose that 38K level, we come way down here, we're still okay. That's that's it. That's the that's the video. <laughs> uh crypto fear and in greed index we're at 70 we're still in greed just like yesterday let's go down to the chart see what we got well you can see us here if we come back down which we probably will a little bit tomorrow i'd imagine with our falling prices a little bit today let's go to the three month a little bit easier to look at uh what we want to hold is our market structure of 42 low if we go down and we 43 or higher and then bounce and make another high of 74 or higher we're still okay. If you'd like to come back down, maybe make something 43, 44, 45, something like that. We don't have to go that low, but just saying if we come back down there and then come back and make like a 75, 76 or higher, fantastic. Great news. Very huge news. <laughs> uh, we want to do that. And yeah, how about quarter of the day? Quarter of the day by Jim Rohn. If, if you, you can pause it if you, if you need to. Uh, if you don't know anything about Jim Rome and you're trying to improve your life even a little bit, I would highly suggest going on Amazon Audible or to your local bookstore, picking some books up of his. Highly recommended. Great friend of mine, Jim Rome. <laughs> Terrible at Trump. All right, let's get to the funny part. Any guesses? Crypto meme of the day. It's pretty accurate. Car of the day, Lamborghini, Gallardo, Super Leggera. Yeah, I got one. Looks pretty similar. There's a reason I picked that picture, right? Look how close that is. That's pretty close. It's like deadly accurate. <laughs> All right, that's it. 57 gold stars for you. A little bit of a shorter video. Hopefully you learned something a little bit. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. What are you doing? You've watched this long and you haven't given us a thumbs up? I doubt it. But if you haven't, if you forgot, I get it. I forgive you. We're still friends. You're very fantastic. Huge. Very bigly. I will, I'll see you on the next video. If you want to unsubscribe, I get it. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much.